How we doing? I thought we'd do a video here this afternoon. I'm doing a, uh, I'm doing my gray diamond uh, scud. It's the gray diamond scud. Um, as you can see here, I started out putting a few wraps of 0.015 lead wire on the, towards the bend of the hook. I'm going to start my thread right behind the eye. I'm going to run it, clip off the tag end. Now I'm just going to run it down and just cut, get this lead covered up a little bit. Alright, we got the lead nice and covered. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to run the thread down the band of the hook a little ways. And then what we're going to do is we're going to attach the feelers or the tail on the scud here. And what I'm using is a cochlean feather really neatly speckled feather. I'm going to pull a few of the fibers. I'm going to pull them down, get the tips nice and even, and I'm going to remove them from the feather. Okay, so now we're going to tie in the tail, which I like at about half of the hook shank in length. Okay, just a little long. There we go, I like that a lot better. So now, what we're going to do is with the, uh, uh, with these fibers here, we're going to help use this to build a hump. So what I'm going to do is going to come over, fold it back and forth a few times. And this is going to actually help build the hump on the, the scud. Come in, we'll clip off the little bit of leftover. Okay, so we got our hump built up. Now what we're going to do, so I'm going to attach the rib for this fly. And basically, what the ribbing is, is just... Uh, some uh, old monofilament that I have. It's a four pound monofilament and I'm basically going to attach it to the far side of the hook and the reason is is it just helps it make that first wrap when you go underneath instead of trying to go over the top of it. So what you would see what we've done is we've taken and put that first wrap, of, uh, put the uh, ribbing on the far side of the hook. Now I'm going to tie in the scud back and what I'm using on this is a uh, light gray eighth inch scud back uh, for this fly. So I'm going to attach it here. We're going to bind it down here. There we go. Now, this next step is somewhat optional. I just like the way they look on it. Um, we're going to add some eyes. Uh, so, and the way I do that is I take some uh, Zero X fluorocarbon. Doesn't matter the brand. Uh, I put them in a, I put them here in a, uh, pair of tweezers. Now watch. Burn the one end. And we're going to burn the second end, the second eye. So we got two nicely formed eyes. At this point don't drop them because they're really small and you'll never find them again. So now what we're going to do is right here at the back, I'm going to X them in. Okay, you can see them nicely X'd in here. Uh, now what I do with them, now what I do with them is uh, I'll actually take them with a Sharpie and I will color them with a uh, black Sharpie. 
I don't see my black, so we're going to use a dark brown. Okay. So we colored them up nice and. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, the body, the abdomen of this, this body of this fly, is uh, formed with a dubbing. Two different a mixture of dubbing here and what I like to use I don't know if you can see it here it's a spiky squirrel SLF spiky squirrel mixed with uh, uh, UV gray ice step and what we're going to do is I'm going to form a dubbing loop Form a dubbing loop and we're going to run our thread back to the front. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some of the dubbing and we're going to start inserting it into the dubbing loop. The dubbing twister I'm using, it's put out by Mark Pettigene. And one of the neat features is, is, is I can, it's kind of hard to see, but I can open and close it with my left hand real easy. So as you put the dubbing in it, you can close it up afterwards and it'll all stay in place. Okay, just a little bit more I think. Alright, that should do me. I'm going to close the loop and now we're just going to spin her up. Now what I'm going to do is you're going to see me come in in here and kind of pick out some of the loose stuff here. Gonna get her all spun up nice and tight. Okay, now I'm going to grab pair of hackle pliers. We're going to grab the dubbing noodle with that and then I'm going to cut and take off the dubbing twister. Now what I'm going to do, and this is going to be a little tricky, the camera's a little close. The first couple wraps I'm going to basically X around the eyes to get them where I kind of enter in the dubbing. Now what I'm going to do is start wrapping it to the back. Just to the back here. Right by the right before the eye. Give yourself a little extra room on this head because you, we got a little, few more things to tie off here. And it's easy to crowd this one. Clip off the excess. Now what I like to do here is I'm going to throw a quick half hitch. That's just in case because I'm going to this thing looks kind of messy right now, but I'm going to take a brush and take and brush everything down from the top down to the bottom. Try to get it as smooth as you can. Okay, now we're going to take our scud back and it's going to go up between the two eyes. Tie that off. I'm going to leave that here for now. Now I'm going to take the rib and it's going to start on the far side, come underneath. I need a little bobbin here to help. You might get a bobbin sometimes to help it so you don't pinch, so you don't bind down all the, some of the, and then we can start working at the ribbing. There we go. There we go. 
go. That one's. I'm just kind of using the bob in here to help not to trap the fiber the fibers. Okay. Now we're back here. We're going to tie the ribbing off. clip it and then we're going to come in clip the scud back now I'm going to just bind finish off this head here we'll throw a quick whip finish okay we're going to cut the tag end now we're going to go ahead and finish this fly up. Take a brush. I'm going to take a dubbing brush, and I want to make sure I get all the get these fibers aiming downward because I'm going to still put a UV resin on the back of this fly, and I'm going to do that here next. I'm not going to cut this, and the reason is is I can come in and pull it down out of the way so when I put the resin on it first of all we're going to take a gray marker and just hit the back here just darken it up a little bit just it adds some coloration a little more coloration it's probably hard to see if it did anything in the video now we're going to grab our UV resin and I'm using uh, Diamond Hard by from Deer Creek Flies, it's the really the only truly tack-free resin I have found. Okay, so now we're going to take our bobbin, our botkin. I'm going to take Just a little bit more here. Clean that off I'm a little heavy, but not too bad. Try to get it in and around the eyes. Trying to just give it get that nice scud shape. Yeah, it does it looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna hit it with my light. Should be nice and hard now. Close my lid. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take the fly out of the vise, and we're going to give it a quick haircut. I don't know if you can... So I'm going to cut it at an angle from the eye of the hook towards the back. And that will give you your nice scud shape. And I might just take a little bit more of the marker on the eyes so they stand out. And there we go. There's the gray diamond scud.